What is up, my intergalactic friends? In today's video, we're going to talk about the changes that they have done with the uh, campaign shop. They made it into an Orion instead of Thesis. Now, I was thinking, like, why did they do that? Uh, I was like, what can we do? So a lot of free-to-play players have probably had Thesis, and now they're getting the Orion. So, you know, a lot of the new players as well. So when you start, you're going to be able to have the chance to get Orion. Is it worth it? What kind of pairings up we should do with an Orion setup? A lot of players would probably think of an Artemis, which is a legendary version of Orion. So they would want to get an Orion, Artemis, and that type of combination. But what about for those free-to-play, low spender, doesn't really spend money into the game? What type of uh, flagships that you should be working on in a combination in the future setups? So in this video, we're going to talk about the setups for the Artemis and as well as the Orion. My name is Shinchi42. This is Infinite Galaxy. If you guys want to see more IG content, consider subscribing. And also, if you like the video, drop us a like as well. Now, one thing that I want to give you guys an advice right now, if you haven't seen my relics video, because in this video, um, I explained to you guys how you guys can get insane amount of resources within minutes. So make sure you check it out. I'll put a link in the description as well as a card up in the right hand corner. Now, relics are out right now, so make sure to take advantage of it. All right, so. You're free to play, you're a low spender, they changed the purity protocol, there's no more advanced federation credit, so you're not going to be earning this AFC anymore. Where can you get the AFC? Well, can you get it here? They changed it too. Oh, it's still AFC in here. I thought they were going to change it. So, well, you can still get AFC here. Um, another thing is that you can get it from the VIP. Other than that, it's going to be on the packs. I don't know where else you can get it. All right, so... What can you do now since you're going to earn a lot more Federation credit? You can do the Purity Protocol. You're just going to earn these Federation credits so you can purchase purple or blue. So in be able to purchase in here, you can definitely get the Thesis and you can also get the Orion. But the Orion, you can get it from the Campaign Shop. So what you're going to be doing then, you can, you can spend it on the Thesis if you like. So this is the type of combination that I'm thinking right now in my head that you can do. All right. So you can definitely run a full Forgets as well with a epic setup of flagship all right so now we're going to be looking into artemis all right so your artemis you're getting the warship attack in here it's a kinetic weapon type this is going to be a armor so you're going to get 151.2 let's just take a look at the end game in here right 151.2 end game total warship armor and then here you're going to get another forget armor 151.2 and then 151.2 for shield and then total warship shield more that is on the deployed fleets, right? So this is one of the best thing about Artemis is that the Artemis is not just only going to be, you know, benefit for Gits. If you do a mix of for Gits and other stuff, like when you do a Brontes and Artemis, it also works, right? So, but you're most likely, uh, if you're thinking about investing into something, you can also do a, um, you know, Artemis and Brontes. But for the meantime, let's say only take a look into the Artemis and Orion. So let's take a look into the Orion in here. So what you're going to see with the Orion, you're going to get this kinetic attack, right? Skill increased damage by 20.7% according to the deployed fleet power, um, currently for my rank in here. And you're going to get a 72% total warship armor, 72% for armor and shield for forgets only. So it's going to be very beneficial if you're running full forgets with an Orion. Shield boost, 72%. And then at this, it's going to be 24%. For the navigate speed and 36% for HP. So with the Orion, you're getting everything in here. You're getting the shield, you're getting armor, you're also getting HP. And you really get more benefit when you have forgets. So the more forgets you have, the more benefit you will have. The Orion in here is a really nice flagship because it's just exactly the same thing as the Artemis. Now, when we take a look into the thesis in here, now this is going to be a missile, all right, a missile type of weapon. Um, gives the fleet warship attack in here. So the flagship now only is the one who's catering for the for the weapon in here for the missile. This one is going to give you another 36% health, all right? HP for the entire warship. So even if you had a mixed fleet in that, um, in that Orion, let's say you didn't have enough frigates, you had some cruisers in there that are kinetic, then it will also work out. Now, you also get 36% armor, 36% shield, all right? So a lot of armors and shield, what we're looking, what we're seeing in here. And this is where you kind of get the punching power in here. Warship attacked when in battle with other commanders, 42%. And then shield is also going to increase in 42%. 
what this setup that we're talking about right now it's going to be a lot of very tanky setup in here for for somebody who is not a big spender this is going to be a hella tanky one and then you're going to get some more warship armor when your hp of the deployed fleet is higher than 70 percent so in the initial state you're definitely going to benefit on this but once you go down to below 70 percent then you're not going to benefit with that armor all right so this goes down 70 percent no more so a thesis and orion is a combination that is very good very tanky that i would see um i think i'm going to be investing into this next as well but i'm right now i'm on the brontes in the next video we're going to talk about brontes as well so for now let's talk about the orion and the thesis combination but actually you can also do a brontes honestly but we're going to dive down deeper into a brontes type of video in the future in here but i'm just giving you guys some different types of combinations that you can do now when i do a brontes i'm actually going to pair this up with my cyclops but if some people are trying to do a um uh, kinetic weapon types of flagships that are going to be like kinetic um, some, t some of the players are actually doing a um, uh, Orion and Braun test. You can definitely do this as well. Now, we know that the weapon type doesn't really matter that much, but the outfitting slot does. So if you still have a lot of kinetic warships, it's still going to benefit you with the outfitting slot and benefit on that, you know, with the a synergy of the uh, warships and gear. Now, this is going to give you 24% attacked, all right? So I want you guys to take a look into the information here. This is already a max for me, 24%. 96% from cruisers stack from forget bonus, all right? This is only when you have cruisers, all right? So if you're doing a mix, right? 50% forget, 50% cruisers, you're not going to maximize this, all right? So another thing in here, cruiser attack. Again, cruiser is going to be the one that benefit, right? In here as well, uh, warship attack, uh, 48%, all right? When you have deployed fleet higher than 70%. So when we're looking into your epic setup in here and then you're looking into a, you want to do a full kinetic warship type this is something that you want to do you want to work with orion and thesis because thesis works with any types of flagships that you want so let's say you're thinking about maybe in the future you do want to maybe you're not really in, interested in orion and making forgets you're interested on in doing a cyclops you can even do a cyclops and thesis type of combination because thesis works with any types of warship that is going to benefit you really really well it's similar with an apollo in here right an apollo is going to work with any types of warship as well for my opinion thesis is really good with the same concept as if the uh, poseidon comes out poseidon is really really good in comparison to the apollo i mean the odysseus is decent but when you look into the thesis in here the stats is the raw buff in here for your fighting capability for pve for pvp this is solid so i think you guys so my suggestion in here if you're thinking of creating a full frigate type of setup you must have an orion and a thesis type of setup for the epic flagship but now if you're looking into legendary then it's going to be a little bit different because then you're going to be just pairing that up with an artemis which is going to be so much better but thesis is a really scary um epic flagship in here especially with the changes that they have done so when that poseidon comes out that will be absolutely insane and in my assumption in here the poseidon is going to be coming up in the g versus g new event besides that my intergalactic friends i hope you guys find this video to be very very helpful and hopefully you can succeed in infinite galaxy with these type of combinations let me know in the comment section below what do you think and what is your current setup as of today i'll see you again next time